room. So I would like to take this time and introduce the man of the hour. We have two men of the hour, but Lu Yang. Someone, uh, one of my staff told me, Lu, when you speak, don't cry. So I, I try to control myself. Uh, again, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for taking your time and be with us today. It mean a lot to Professor Center. It mean a lot to me and Pao Yang tonight. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, <clears throat> In the Hmong community, we have 18 different clans. And when I first arrived from the airport, uh, look around and I do not know, do not see anyone who I can trust when I first arrived in Honolulu Airport. And a white man came and asked me that he is the one that I should follow and take to my apartment. And I was so sad with my wife, my little kid, and my parents. And the first thing he asked me, are you hungry? I'm not sure I understood, but I said yes. <laughs> and he said, do you like burger? And I said, um, he first asked me, do you like hot dog? I said, no, I'm not eating dog. <laughs> so, and he changed, he said, you like burger? I said, yes. And when you first arrive to a new country, and many people, many color, but we look around and no one really know you, and you do not know anyone. It was so sad, it was so sad. I think I was wrong making the decision to come to this country. However, Dr. Tony Wang is one of the first monk who came to Honolulu and was a student and he spoke English very well. So he, he was the case manager for uh, the organization called Viva. And he assists me a lot. He assists me a lot. I also want to say thank you, Tony, for trusting me and believing me and appoint me to wear your shoe. I hope you're not disappointed. <clears throat> Look in that room, this room, I, when a person will take a position, at uh, first, you always have to be humble, sincere. Degree does not matter. But you must be sincere and humble to serve the community. And also, the second thing most important to understand the vision, the mission, the, the mission, the vision of the organization in order to follow through to do exactly what the bylaw and the mission, the organization, you have to be loyalty to the organization and sincerely to define the goal and the outcome for the organization. That's what I have been done. But I do not do alone. I was blessing the law above. Give me a string. Give me the idea of what to go about and beyond to helping the community. Our mission, our first mission is to assist new America, assist refugee, assist new America. I remember when I first went to the UN interview, I raised my right hand. That little when you go to America, you be a good citizen, and I said yes. I always remember that. That is my principle, that when I come into this country, I wanted to make sure that I'm helping the one who need, really need help. You can see this room, the color, the people on each individual on the wall representing the community. And we do not just want to serve one ethnic city, we need to serve the whole community. The board of director, changing the mission that we cannot just only serve refugees. We have to serve everyone. That's what we intended to do in the organization. I cannot do alone. 
with this strong organization because we have you as a committee member supporting this organization. Fresno centers not belong to Lu Yang. Fresno centers belong to all us. So we belong to the board of directors. We have a good board of directors. We have diverse board. We also have diverse staff. The staff are the one that not only me, Lou alone to make this beautiful organization, but we need every individual staff strength and the individual who have educational skill to build this organization. So I will not take all the credit, but one person I wanted to acknowledge and Dr. Xiong, can you come in? This, this man is a good man and he is my right hand man. He is very, very uh, skillful knowledge and also compassion serve the community. Dr. Xiong has been in my right hand for so long. And, and again, when we have one large meal at my uh, training room, uh, Fresno Center training room. My staff say many things and some of them with tears. And I told them, do not run your tear because I know you. That's why I select you to be a champion for this organization. We have good staff for this organization. And then we have a new director who is a good new director. I know I trust him that he will be a good director for this organization for many years to come. And again, this organization, uh, we cannot do it alone. We need the whole community, we need the individual staff who get, have a knowledge experience to work with this community. We have Sheng Li, Sheng Li, uh, she was an early uh, stand here. Sheng is the office manager and she is very knowledgeable running uh, managing budget and again not only these two we have 30 30 or 31 staff who are capable of running this organization we have bilingual bicultural staff at Fresno Center we speak about seven or eight different language and to become this organization we're not only looking for one ethnicity we're looking for the whole community that we provide the service to and even though when I'm leaving this organization and I trust that this organization will maintain with your trust, your support, many funders are looking for an organization who have clean record, good background, and good management, financial management. And we have tried our best to do all those things. And we have our board who are diverse. The board are very experienced in the organization. The board strongly. I work closely with the ED, and I hope Powell and the board were working well together. Again, the staff, I will not say it too long, but I want to say thank you so much for helping Fresno Center for the past 25, 26 years. Without your support, we will not be here today. And your support has been very, very helpful to the low-income family, the people that need help the most. Uh, finally, I would say thank you so much. I know that you're very busy, but you make yourself available to be here tonight. And I sincerely appreciate it. Thank you so much for doing that. Thank you so much. All right, good evening. And I want to thank all of you for being here this late afternoon uh, to, to the evening. Before I uh, start, I want to thank uh, Mr. Long Lao and his wife, Dr. Fengali from the OMI, OMI Women's Health Medical Group. Uh, please raise your hand. I also want to thank Mr. Brian from my old town kettle corn. Brian, where are you at? Way down there. All right. Without their sponsorship, this particular open house wouldn't be possible this evening. So thank you for your continual support uh, to the Fresno Center for New Americans. Um, I also want to thank all the FCNA staff and volunteers for making today possible as well. So uh, can everybody join me and give them a round of applause as well? I also want to thank our FCNA's uh, Board of Directors for their leadership and guidance. I want to thank you guys for the opportunity to be the ED for Fresno Center. I want to thank Mayor Lee Brand for being here this evening. 
I want to thank uh, Chong Tua and Maria for representing uh, Assembly Member Arambola's office. I want to thank Claudia for representing Senator Vidak's office. I also want to thank uh, Fresno County Supervisor Brian Pacheco for being here with us this evening. I want to also thank Global Council Member Von Monitua for being here with us. I also want to thank Sanger Unified School Trustee Brandon Vane for being with us. I also want to thank State Center Community College District Trustee Ron Nishinaka for being here with us. I also want to thank State Center Community College uh, Board of Trustee Miguel Arias for being here with us. I also want to thank former City Council member Blanc Jean for being with us as well. And all the way from Merced, uh, newly elected Merced County Supervisor Lee Lore for being here with us as well. A good friend of mine, and thank you for supporting us. I also want to thank some of our community leaders that are here with us. Um, Mr. Chinang Vang, the youngest son of the late General Vang Powell, thank you for being here with us. I also want to thank President of Hmong International New Year, Mr. Ning Hyung Vang, for being here with us as well. I want to thank the Lao Community Cultural Center for being here with us this evening. I also want to thank the Lao American Community of Fresno for being here with us this evening. I am humble to be selected as the new executive director for the Fresno Center for New Americans. Um, I want to thank our founder, Dr. Tony Vang. The last 26 years would not be possible without your commitment, your vision and mission to serving the new Americans that were arriving here in the early 1990s. Um, everyone is indebted to you for your leadership. You, we continue to stand on your shoulders. So I want to commend you for that and thank you for what you've done to this community. I want to thank uh, Lou for his outstanding leadership and ability to sustain and build up on Dr. Tony's vision. There are no words to describe or explain the dedication, the effort, the commitment that you put forth uh, to the staff that you lead in serving our community. Your legacy will live on, not only at Fresno Center for New Americans and the staff that you have impacted, but also the lives of the community that you serve. So thank you, Lou. We will miss the both of you here at the Fresno Center, but I'm confident that you will continue to inspire, empower our community to become better citizens in the great city of Fresno with our mayor as our leader. With that being said, I want to wish you a happy retirement. I want to thank all the guests, the families, the friends, all elected officials. If I miss you, I apologize. Um, you know, we have a, a saying in Hmong, the house may be small, but we all have big hearts. So um, thank you for being here. We have a packed house. I'm very happy for your continual support as we take this organization to the next 26 years from now. Thank you and welcome to our organization. Thank you. To introduce some FCNA staff that would like to say some kind words to Lou for his happy retirement. Dr. Zhang, Pachor Her, Saksaraiku, and New Vang. Sorry, I forgot my best friend here at the city of Fresno. I forgot Paul Capriolio, council member Paul. I apologize, he was standing right next to me. And uh, he's one of my best friends, so thank you for being here. I'm deeply sorry. Okay, well, I guess I'm first. Um, good evening, everyone. My name is Nu Vang. I am one of the staff members here at SDNA, and um, I feel so privileged to have been asked to uh, just give a couple words um, 
just to Lou. And so, you know, I have the honor to uh, be here for almost two years, actually. And uh, it was all because uh, Lou took a chance on me and he believed um, in me, he believed that I was capable to serve the community and, and be a bridge uh, to the, the, the people we really serve.